<laughs> Do I have mascara on? Okay, sweet. Hello everyone, my name is Sydney, and whether you're new here or not, I'm glad you're here anyways. This new intro is kind of wholesome, and I'm here for it. For today's video, I'm doing a brand new and my first ever car tour. I recently just got a new car, well, a new to me car. It's semi-used. My old car had a lot of problems, especially with the battery. I would die in the most inconvenient places, and I would either have to be jumped or I would be stranded, and it was just... A very scary situation for me as a female and I'm glad I don't have to deal with that anymore yay to that you know I had also taken that car from my dad and it was a bit of a clunker and it was dirty it was definitely not a girly car I was a bigger car so I wanted to get a nice amount of space but downsize a little bit so I can be a little bit more compact I'm already going to preface this video because once we get to my car, I already know that I'm not going to have a lot of the decorations that a lot of people do, like the things that make their car very, very precious. I don't have those yet. COVID is making the mail move a little bit slower, but I just couldn't wait because I'm trying to schedule things in advance because I've got a big work week coming up. Any products that will be going in my car, I will just put a picture of it up on the screen. So without further ado, let's go see my vehicle. All right, so once we get in the car, I'll start by talking about my steering wheel. The car's on because it's freaking Texas heat and I would die without it. I don't have a steering wheel cover just yet, but I'm getting this one off of Amazon. I'm really excited about it. Ooh, I just realized I need gas, LOL. Speaking of which though, let's move up here. So this is the gauge that tells me my gas. This tells me, I assume temperature. Again, I'm really bad with cars, so. And then this is my odometer and this is my speedometer. Don't ask me what this is, but my car does something interesting where if I'm at a stoplight and I have my feet on like the brakes a little too much, like not in a bad way, but I'm firmly holding the brakes, this needle will go down to zero and it will be as if my car were like off. I think it is like conserving something, but at the same time, like I don't know. I don't know if that's something I need to like look in my owner's manual for, which I probably do, but I haven't yet. So, and the cool thing about this screen, there's a button on my steering wheel. I can do the arrow up and down and it controls what this shows me. So I have 97 miles to E. That tells me my average up there in the top right corner. And then that is how many miles I've traveled, I guess, since I've gotten this car on the top left. I don't even look at this one. Yeah, and then it just shows everything else close up. So I can see the exact mileage I have left before I go on empty, you know? All right, moving over here. So a lot of you may be thinking um, that screen is tiny. I honestly don't mind because my old car literally did not have a screen. I had to control everything with like turn knobs and it was the worst. Then as we get up here, if I wanted to program either channels or CDs, I could. I believe this is my CD player up here. Volume, tune, channel. Volume, I can scroll up, scroll down. Push this and this can turn off the screen altogether. Push it again and it turns it back on. This is how I change channels. I have multiple different options. I have regular radio. I have Sirius XM for I think six months for free. And then I have media. I also have my charger. I need to get another charger, but as of right now, I just have my cute little like unicorn charger. Secretly underneath the unicorn, my thing is like breaking apart at the seams. If we plug in my phone, Hi Houston. We plug in my phone and then we hit media and we look at the screen. You can see I have Bluetooth audio option, mobile app, but I want USB. Get ready for the A-team everyone. Obviously A-team's at the top, so of course it's going to play every time I connect, literally every single time. Moving on though, I don't have Apple CarPlay, but when I was looking at cars, I didn't really understand the point of Apple CarPlay because I don't like texting and driving I'm trying to be safe out on the road and you know, punching a screen right here is just as bad as not looking at the road. So I usually let friends take control of aux, but I can just pull up stuff from my library and punch it in. Mostly the Hamilton soundtrack, but you know. I'd also like to preface this if I haven't already. I have a dog, he sheds, and he rides in the car with me. So if I've got hair all over the place, that's ranger. That's ranger danger. I'd also like to announce, well, maybe not announce, but like point out. I haven't shown you the floorboards because I know I'm gonna get judged. Um, all this grass right here, if you look outside my door, you will see that I'm literally parked right next to grass. So every time that I step into the car, I bring more grass into the vehicle. Isn't that great? Okay, I'm going to take out 
my keys for just a minute because apparently part of the car tour process is a key tour, which I think is stupid, but we're gonna do it anyways. I don't have a, an engine start stop button, but I do have keyless entry, finally. My old car did not. I had to like physically turn it. Lock, unlock, panic. That's all I need and I can stab you if I need to. Next I have my house key and you don't need to see that too close because that could um, reveal my home. I have this little San Antonio key with my name on it. Me and my boyfriend took a trip to San Antonio in March right before COVID shut everything down and it was fun so I have that. I also have this cute little like purple leather Texas keychain that my boyfriend also like made me and it's adorable. I have this little A keychain that my friend Kayla gave me when she was in Italy. Jealous, absolutely jealous. A for Applegate, hee hee. Then I have this little thing. It is my key into the sorority house, but I don't think it's active right now because obviously we're not at school. Then I have this, it's my gym membership that I use to scan in and work out, but obviously gyms are closed because of COVID. Isn't that lovely? I got this like blue and yellow bow the blues in the middle it's white and yellow whatever I got this when I was on my dance team in high school and you know what I've just always thought it was cute and it still stayed together so I'm already sweating heaps and lastly I have my key ring I got this from Swoozies Swoozies is absolutely adorable you could probably get it from so many places though but it's like silicone but it's firm like the circle's not gonna lose its shape and it is like a seafoam green a little bit of a sky blue that's it i'm turning on my my car can you already see like i'm sweating oh ac speaking of ac all these buttons down here first of all um we are not chilling at 77 degrees absolutely not we're going on low also my driver's side and the passenger side can have different temperatures but the fan has to be at the same speed and power down here i have a little compartment um, I can add like an additional charger if I want to. I have my gear shift. I want to put something cute on this, but I haven't figured anything out. Also, I have two cup holders that I'm excited to get some coasters in. The coasters will look like this. I'm so excited. They're gonna be so cute and aesthetically pleasing because I have another cup holder down here by me and I'm pretty sure my passenger side has one. Up here we have my rearview mirror and my hanging mask to show people that wearing is caring because you know, it is. We look up here, push this down, and I have sunglasses that come down. Unfortunately, the one thing my old car had on this car is that I had like practically a whole spine of sunglasses holders up on the top of my car, um, but I only have one now. So I keep my other sunglasses in here. It tints my world blue. I think it's a good time. All right, so now a little bit about the back seat. I don't really want to climb in there, but like if I have to, I will. As you can see, I have two-toned interior sort of so my seats are tan they're cloth they're not leather i think they called it like sand grayish tan i'm thankful it's not leather especially with it being summer right now and i sweat a lot i literally sweat like a pig so i don't want to do that in my vehicle the back seat sits three people and then i don't have a third row anymore so i am now driving a five seater car i have this iphone stand for whenever i want to vlog but i'm currently not doing that so I'm just gonna put that in my console. If we open up my console, you'll see that there's like a flat first part and I have a Chick-fil-A coupon and two bobby pins. Uh, that's all I have in there right now. But if you open the other compartment, you will see that there's my wallet. I just got my nose pierced so I have like a piercing information pamphlet. In the back, you know, it's pretty roomy. I think it's really cute. Seat belts are accessible. This pops down to have, I believe, more cup holders, but I can't move like that. I guess I'm gonna do the exterior now. I think it's weird that I did the inside first, but um, that's how we roll here. Just in case I don't know how to put a sensor over my license plate, here we go. I also have this super cute like North Texas emblem, uh, bless, cause I don't wanna put like a sticker on it yet. I feel like it's just too new. Uh, down here is my trunk hatch. Now let's keep moving. Yeah, she needs a wash, but she's still doing okay. Nice wheels, they're in good condition. The car, when I looked at it on the market, it was described as lightning blue metallic. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. And the front kind of nose dives a lot more than my other car. So I have more room to see in my windshield. Here's my gas tank, it's on my right side. And I like that I don't have to hit a lever in my car to open it and it's capless, which I think is awesome. Here's the other side. 
I just love her. We've had some rain, so she does need a wash, but that's okay. The last thing I'll show you guys is my trunk. I have jumper cables. It's just they're not in the car with me right now. It's in my old car, and that's currently not on my premises, so I have to wait for my dad to get back, and then I will take those cables. But for now, I have two toolboxes. That was a tongue twister. Um, this is a bigger one, and then this is a small one. Big tools, small tools, and perfect graduation gifts that's what i got them from i have a blanket in here in case i get stranded and it's cold shout out to hope helberg because that is a blanket with both of our faces all over it it's a bestie blanket i have like a flat tire solution in this little like covered area and then i have this for when it ices in texas and there's ice on my windshield i just scratch it off and the trunk space is pretty freaking good also i don't know if i showed this but every time i hit reverse I finally have a backup camera. I am over the moon. Like, it's about freaking time. So many times I've literally had to wing it into my parking spot, and I'm glad I don't have to worry about that anymore. On the side, we have all the buttons. These control the windows. This controls my mirrors. I just switch this back and forth in order to control which mirror I need to take care of. I have double mirrors, so I have a regular, and then I have a blind spot mirror, which is awesome. I don't think I'm missing anything. I mean, if you want to see these, like, cool, it lights up. Oh, best part. I have oh heck handles on every side of the vehicle. But yeah, that's my car. Her name is Dory. She is a 2017 Ford Escape. Lightning blue metallic. Freaking beautiful. I love her so much. She drives like a dream. I couldn't be happier. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I can make more videos for more people who watch. I've been getting into the swing of producing more content on a more regular basis, and it's kind of fun. So, uh, once more, my name is Sydney. I now make YouTube videos either every Tuesday or every Thursday or both. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.